Sorry, I uploaded that dumb video, that clip. I'm like, I was, I was trying. I just, I, my, my mind, I just emptied all the stuff I wanted to try to say in, in Sarah's voice. Sarah in the UK, healthy carnivore in the UK. I just uploaded. I'm like, there's a certain charm about this clip, even though it's really dumb. Um, so I uploaded it. Oh, I'm going to practice you, though, Sarah. I'm going to practice you because you say you just, you, you're, you have such conviction. And I'm like... She's slightly neurotic with this, and I recognize it because I am too. But that doesn't, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because when you really need to go in the direction you're going in, and people are like, man, you're really being neurotic about this. I, that mean, neurotic actually means, I think, like that you take great care with something. We've somehow twisted that word into meaning like negative, but it's, it's not. It's just you're taking extreme care and caution, and you're moving forward as, as, uh, just sure-footed that's what you are right now you're just I am never looking back because you know what it's doing for you and I get the whole thing you want to get that year mark because you want the year you want to get the six months you want to get past it because you, you that the old addictions and patterns will have fallen away I hope that goes exactly like you want it to go um, but I need to practice I need to practice saying some of the things that you say I think I love listening to you talk and you give me so much hope and incentive to continue to exercise and build my strength. And I went to an elderly, well, it didn't have to be elderly, but that's but pretty much what was there. People in chair, chair exercise. And man, this woman whooped our asses. I literally couldn't do what the teacher was doing the entire time at the speed she was doing it. I had to take breaks and just stop moving. I couldn't do it. So everybody realized by the end of the hour that I was most certainly needing to be there just like they did because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it either. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to take Lenny next week. Sarah, you, you inspire me to stick to my pow pow, stick to my guns, stick to my guns in what I'm trying to do with my mental health, physical health, and, and having an, an, an art form that is extremely physically difficult. So it's a sport and an art at the same time. The pole, I'm just like, wow. And I've never danced a day in my life except in a bar. You know, just like freestyle, let the body just do what it does. I've never been taught. It was unfortunate, I think. Now I'm like a firm believer that all oh, little girls should take dance classes. I believe it now. Because I understand now how it builds brain synapses. It builds all the this body awareness and just everybody ta and boys take your kid take your kids to dance classes when they're little just to learn these certain steps and to get understand the whole because it sticks with them. They can just tap into it later if they drop away from it. It's something that ne should be learned at that age. They should also be out running and climbing trees and doing monkey bars and all this different body, all the different body movements crossing over the midline to where you build the so it it builds you know the the agility and the what olympic athletes used to look like i've seen some of that that used to be and then today like stuff that on the balance beam that i had not seen we hadn't seen in years i sent the clip to my daughter and she was like wow yeah that's the ticket just but it's dangerous I mean, what these girls were doing, flipping off the beam and landing different ways and doing it. It was dangerous, but man, the precision, that's the word I'm looking for. There's many words, but that was, that's one. Now this dog, she's got the precision. She's got fine motor movements that are utterly mind blowing. And she has helped Georgie gain so much more flexibility, strength, and agility. She's trained the other dog. I mean, she just straight up trained her. So this movement thing, we've got to get ourselves together. We've got to be moving, moving, moving. Um, I was a couch potato for years because of uh, just for chronic depression, which is probably because I was sitting there. See, if I'd have got up, it was just, it's, just a, it's a horrible, vicious cycle. And I know there's studies out there, suppose. Well, there's studies that say a lot of stuff, but they say exercise, routine, enough exercise, far exceeds any antidepressant that they've got on the market but yet they won't prescribe it they won't force people to show up 
at a gym or whatever, if they did like three times a week and made them walk briskly, I mean, even, I mean, just people that aren't used to it, just, and if they were made to go, but see, they won't put the money into this because they don't want us to be well. If they were made to go, it would be free health care. Like, okay, you got to go. If you show up, <laughs> your doctor bill is free or whatever, you know, just somehow to say, this is your prescription and we want to know that you're doing it. Because it's hard to do things by yourself, especially when you're not used to it, which is why I joined the Y. So I just went on a, I don't know, I didn't even know what I was making this video about. I guess wellness from head to toe, inside and out, I don't know. Uh, and just people that inspire me. Like Sarah in the UK. All right. There's a bunch of you out there. You know who you are. Well, not a bunch, actually. There's not a bunch. There's just a, a few, and you know who you are. All right, peace out, y'all. Let's have a great day, YouTube.